I, I talked to you a little bit about it, but Gary Nixon, you used to, um, you had a relationship with him and you wore some Gary Nixon painted like replica helmets. And I, I've never really knew, I don't really know that background because Gary is really popular. He's like a cultural yeah. icon at this point. Um, even more so now that he's, he's passed away. We lost Gary. I don't know, man. It's probably been what, 10 years now. I think so. It's a yeah. Dude, time yeah, flies. So, now. yeah. So we've lost Gary, but, um, People talk about Gary all the time, and you had replica gear. So what was that? What was that? Like, how'd that come about? I'm not really sure. I, I remember, like, obviously, I think Gary's originally from Oklahoma, but everybody knows him as a Maryland guy, right? So well, I was a little kid on a 50 and coming up through, like, at Timonium at the indoors. Like, Nixon was always there hanging out and, like, you know. Selling merch. And like I said, my dad's stuffed me in front of the TV watching on any Sunday. So it's like, you know, this guy's, like, Kevin Costner or, you know, like <laughs> yeah. this dude's a movie star, um, you know, and, you know, it, he was always super cool, like always paid attention to what was going on watching the races. And, you know, I'd win the 50 class or something and he'd come over and shake my hand and say, good job. And I'm like, wow, you know, um, you know, so as the years went on, I would always see him there and he'd show up at some nationals and pro races and just always say hi. And uh, I think it was... Um, I don't know, 2000, early 2000s. So I guess right as I was turning pro, um, I think we were at like Timonium Outdoors or something. And uh, they had some like big deal. And um, Don Miller from Metro painted up one of my helmets with, a you know, the Nixon star on it and everything. And so it was kind of it was kind of a. I don't know, it was like a kind of like a presentation like, hey, you know, Nixon hey, wants to mentor me and, and kind of be a part of my, my program. So, um, you know, so he was always around, um, you know, I, God bless him, but you know, half the time he didn't know what he was saying. Right. <laughs> but, uh, but no, he was cool. I got to actually travel with him a bunch in my Maroney's days. Um, was he part of that team? Did he help out Pat? I guess a little bit. I don't, I don't know who was helping who in that scenario, <laughs> if, but it was just Pat and, and Nixon, it was kind of like oil. They're kind of the same, right? Awesome. They both like to have a good time, both drink some beer, but they were just oil and water, right? <laughs> like whatever Nixon did, it, it frustrated Pat. And I mean, I can go on for days with some of the stories of that, but, uh, but no, it was, it was cool having him around and, you know, I wore his, uh, you know, his kind of replica Nixon star helmet for, uh, for quite a few years. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, one story I'll, I, I can tell, um, I remember it was, I'm skipping ahead here, but, uh, in 2010, when I won my first championship in, um, I think it was in Prescott Valley, Arizona. <clears throat> so we're all hanging out at the hotel afterwards and Nixon's staying at that hotel and, you know, he kind of comes stumbling down the hallway and, uh, Hey Jake, good job. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks Nixon, man. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just remember. I'm still twice as good as you were because, because he had two championships. <laughs> yeah, two. I only had one. So, uh, so yeah. So yeah, 2011, I think is when he, when he passed away because I won the championship again in 2011 and I never got the chance to tell him that tell. I was as good as him. <laughs> so I never got any better, but I'm just as good as Nixon. <laughs> That's awesome. So. 